Hello and welcome to Moments. Uh, I'm Esther Perel and I'm very pleased to have a guest with me on Moments today, Dr. Alexandra Salomon, who's a colleague and a friend, a licensed clinical psychologist and a clinical associate professor at Northwestern University. More importantly, the teacher of the most popular course on relationship, Marriage 101. Check it out. <laughs> and we are going to do our question and answer. Okay. So the one from today comes from Alan in New York. I'm a single male in my 30s. I do a fair amount of dating through apps and also in person. One thing I really struggle with is the sort of confusing dance that me and the potential partners do around our expectations. How can I be assertive or find out more about where they're at without pushing them away or making them think that I'm forcing them into a situation that's very serious right off the bat, mm -hmm. right? It's a question about expectations, about boundaries, um, and about the kind of ambiguity that so many people float on today, neither in, neither out, or a little bit in, but not too much, trying very hard to make it look like it doesn't really matter, because if it matters, it matters so damn seriously. Talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's a, this is a great question. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a great question. <laughs> and we were, you know, there's so much around, I mean, so much around dating and building a relationship has always been a highly gendered activity. And I think that is true whether you are, you know, gay, straight, and sort of the, the, the gendered loading around who takes the lead, um, who defines it. So for as much as we have a generation of women who, for women who date men, um, a number of them are reporting that they don't want to, that sort of men have become the ball and chain. We know that 40% of households in America are female breadwinner households. And so oftentimes she's starting to view him as a liability more than an asset. But when it comes to dating, the old rules still, in my experience, very much apply for people who are dating um, in a heterosexual fashion, where she's really expecting him to take the lead. So if this is, if Alan is somebody who dates women especially, I would think that he is sort of being expected to kind of control the pace of the relationship, but at the same time potentially being punished for getting so serious so fast, because there's also this like sub-layer of we just got to be chill and no drama and wait and see. And I also have five other ponies in my stable that I'm trying, you know, trying out. <laughs> so it is really difficult. But I, my advice to Alan will be just to speak his truth. If he's into somebody and he wants to see where it goes, that being, being in a dating relationship, even if it has exclusivity, we're not saying anything about marriage, right? It's sort of the adventure of trying to feel like what it, what it means to be together in some kind of boundaried way so that stuff can unfold. We need a container. We need a container or a parameter in order for unfolding to occur. And then she answers to him, um, you know, you're coming on too strong mm -hmm. or I'm busy. Um, I have, you know, I, I'd love to see you, but, you know, not, not four times a week or twice a week mm -hmm. or, one, you know, or not every week, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. What does he do with the truth that gets him pushed back? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, right, that's, that's the conversation. I mean, I also would like to have her in my therapy office to unpack what her hesitation is. Right. I think that's so much of what, especially if somebody has a history of high drama relationships, if mm -hmm. she's had the pattern where she can't feel him, it's only a booty call, she only hears from him when he's drunk, da da da. If that's been her history, and now here's an available man mm -hmm. who's like, I like you, mm -hmm. let's see what's possible, mm -hmm. she can get this whole story going about how that kind of just right. doesn't feel right. So right. there's something about easing so into. So I would say to Ellen, yeah, Check with her. Yeah. Are you surprised when I come to you and I actually say things as they are? I'm sober, I'm thinking, <laughs> I can talk to you, and I will remember what I said. And can you handle that? And actually really challenge her with this. And, and come from a place not mm -hmm. of insecurity of will you like me, but from a place of assertiveness of I like you. Can you deal with this? Uh -huh. I love it. Do you think it. we can send that to him? I love it. All Beautiful. Right, Alan, Come on, Alan. Go point. for it. 